supposed to be fighting back against anti-Semitic attacks in this country, which we have seen. They are on the rise here. Uh, it's widely reported. We have an article for reference here from NPR saying this. Um, we know what this is really all about. Right, Mort? But, you know, I'm confused. You know, the, the Democratic Party has long been a bastion for Jewish Americans here. I don't know how Jewish Americans still support the Democratic Party when they seem so interested in, you know, elevating someone like Alana Omar. Her, her record of anti-Semitism is pretty obvious. Ilan Omar has called Israel evil, supports boycotting Israel, but condemns the U.S. boycotting Venezuela, Iran, or Cuba. These are anti-American positions. She's even written to judges who have been, were on the verge of sentencing ISIS terrorists, pleading with them to lessen their sentences. This woman is an anti-patriot. And the Democratic Party, I'm sorry to say, instead of condemning her and removing her from every committee she's on, as Republicans have done with inappropriate people in their party, they have defended her and, and even praised her. Uh, she condemns aid to Israel, but doesn't say a word about aid to Egypt. Uh, Jordan or Pakistan, Muslim countries, uh, she, she really is, her, uh, it, this le legislation will chill those people speaking out against uh, uh, Islamic terrorism. Remember, of all hate crimes, 60% of them are against Jews, 13% are against Muslims, and almost all the terrorism in the world, in Europe, in South America, uh, 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 of course in the Middle East, in Africa, are committed by Muslims. In Africa, Muslims are killing black Christians by the tens of thousands, and nothing's being done. My fear about this legislation, it will make it hard for people to speak out against Islamic uh, terrorism and Islamic uh, hatred toward uh, uh, Jews and toward Christians. And that's why we oppose this legislation. It's a terrible mistake.